Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Study Hub India. My name is Jialom. Today I will discuss 40 very important questions of Indian polity constitutional development section. Friends, most of the questions are discussed here come up in different competitive exams. So let's start the video without wasting our time. Dear friends, before watching the video, I request to all of you that please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe our YouTube channel Study Hub India. The first question. In which of the following acts, the provision was made for the establishment of Supreme Court at Calcutta? Option A, Regulating Act 1773, B, Pitts India Act 1784, C, Charter Act 1813, D, Charter Act 1833. Right answer will be the option A, Regulating Act 1773. Next question, which act of British Parliament abolished the East India Company monopoly over trade in India? Option A Regulating Act, B Pitts India Act, C Charter Act 1813, D none of the above. Right answer with the option C Charter Act 1813. Next question, by which one of the following acts was the Federal Code in India created? Option A Indian Council Act 1861, B Government of India Act 1909, C Government of India Act 1919, D Government of India Act 1935. Right answer will be the option D. Government of India Act 1935. Next question. The Federal Code of India was established in which of the following year? Option A. 1935, B. 1937, C. 1946, D. 1947. Right answer will be the option B. 1935. Important notes on Federal Code of India. The Federal Court of India was a judicial body established in 1937. The first Chief Justice of the Federal Court of India was Sir Maurik Gayer. The Federal Court of India was established in Delhi under the Government of India Act 1935. Next question. By which of the following act, Legislative Council of India received the power to discuss the budget? Option A, Indian Council Act 1861, B, Indian Council Act 1892, C. Indian Council Act 1909 D. Indian Council Act 1919 The right answer will be the option B. Indian Council Act 1892 Next question Under which of the following acts Diarcy was introduced at central level? Option A. Act of 1909 B. Government of India Act 1919 C. Government of India Act 1935 D. Indian Independence Act 1947 Right answer with the options A. Government of India Act 1935. Next question. The Act of 1909 was associated with uh, option A. Introduction of separate electorate, B. Decentralization, C. Diarcy, D. Legislative Council. The right answer will be the option A. Introduction of separate electorate. Next question. The Indian Council Act 1909 is known as Option A, Montek, Salmsford Reforms, B, Minto Morley Reforms, C, Cabinet Mission Plan, D, Crips Mission Plan. The right answer will be the option B, Minto Morley Reforms. Short note, the Indian Council Act is known as Minto Morley Reforms. The Indian Council Act 1909 commonly known as the Morley Minto or Minto Morley Reforms was an act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom. Next question, which of the following acts introduced the principle of constitutional autocracy? Option A, the Indian Council Act of 1909, B, the Government of India Act of 1919, C, the Government of Indian Act of 1935, D, the Indian Independence Act of 1947. Right answer will be the option C, the Government of India Act 1935. Next question. The power of the president to issue ordinance is a relic of option A, Government of India Act 1919, B, Government of India Act 1935, C, Government of India Act 1909, D, Indian Independence Act 1947. Right answer with the option B, Government of India Act 1935. Next question, the distribution of power between center and states as in the constitution of India is based on which of the following plans? 
Option A. Morley Minto Reforms 1909 B. Montek Salmsford Reform 1919 C. Government of India Act 1935 D. Indian Independence Act 1947 Right answer with the option C. Government of India Act 1935 Next question A federal system and diocese at the center was introduced in India by Option A. The Act of 1909 B. The Act of 1919 See the act of 1935. D. None of the above. Right answer with option C. The act of 1935. Next question. In the federation established under the act of 1935, residuary powers were given to the option A. Federal legislature. B. Provincial legislature. C. Viceroy. D. Provincial governor. Right answer with the option C. Viceroy. Next question. Which one of the following acts provided for a federal polity in India? Option A. Government of India Act 1909 B. Government of India Act 1919 C. Government of India Act 1935 D. Indian Independence Act 1947 Right answer with the option C. Government of India Act 1935 Next question Which one of the following is not an important and permanent constituent in the constitutional history of India? as adopted in the Government of India Act 1935. Option A. A written constitution for the country. B. Elected representation responsible to the legislature. C. Envisaging a scheme of federation. D. Nomination of official members to the legislature. The right answer will be the option A. A written constitution for the country. Next question. Which one of the following acts led to the separation of Burma from India? Option A. The Indian Council Act 1909 B. Government of India Act 1919 C. Government of India Act 1935 D. Independence India Act 1947 Right answer with the option C. Government of India Act 1935 Next question Why is the Government of India Act 1935 important? Option A. It is the main source of the constitution of India, B. It gave independence to India, C. It envisages partition of India, D. It abolished the native states. Right answer will be the option A. It is the main source of the constitution of India. Next question Who among the following persons was not a member of the cabinet mission? Option A. William Ord, B. Pithick Lawrence, C. Stafford Cripps. D. A. V. Alexander Right answer will be the option A. William Ord Next question As per cabinet mission plan in the constituent assembly to decide allotted member seat in each province one representative was in ratio to which population? Option A. 8 lakh B. 10 lakh C. 12 lakh D. 15 lakh Right answer will be the option B. 10 lakh Next question in the interim government formed in 1946, the vice president of the executive council was option A. Jawaharlal Nehru, B. Dr. S. Radhakrishnan, C. C. Rajagopalchari, D. Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Right answer will be the option A. Jawaharlal Nehru. Next question. Indian Constitution Assembly was established under option A. Government of India 1935, B. Cripps Mission 1942. C. Cabinet Mission 1946 D. Indian Independence Act 1947 Right answer with the option C. Cabinet Mission 1946 Next question Who gave the idea of a constitution assembly firstly for the formation of constitution for India? It's very important questions. Option A. Soros Party in 1934 B. Congress Party in 1936 C. Muslim League in 1942 D. All Parties Conference in 1946 Right answer will be the option A. Soros Party in 1934. Who said the first meeting of Constituent Assembly? Option A. Dr. Rajendra Prasad, B. Dr. Bhimra Ambedkar, C. Dr. Sosidhanan Sinha, B. D. Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. Right answer will be the option C. Dr. Sosidhanan Sinha. Dr. Sosidhanan Sinha, the oldest member, was elected as the temporary president of the Constituent Assembly. The Constitution Assembly held its first meeting on December 9, 1946. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हो वॉज द फार्ष्ट इलेक्टेड चेयरमैन अब कन्स्टिट्यूशन एसेम्ब्ली अपशन ए डर बी आर आम्बेडकर सी डर सचिदानंद सिन्हा सी डर राजेंद्र प्रसाद डी डर राधाकृष्णन राइट एंसार उल्ब दपशन सी डर राजेंद्र प्रसाद डर राजेंद्र प्रसाद वज इलेक्टेड एज द फार्ष्ट चेयरमैन अब द कन्स्टिट्यूशन एसेम्ब्ली नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कन्स्टिट्यूट एसेम्ब्ली अफ इंडिया वज इस्टाब्लिश ऑन अपशन ए टेन जून नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स बी नाइन डिसेम्बर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स सी टोन्टी सिक्स नवेम्बर नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन डी टोन्टी सिक्स डिसेम्बर नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन राइट एंसार उल्ब दपशन बी नाइन डिसेम्बर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हो वज द प्रेसिडेंट अब द कन्स्टिट्यूट एसेम्ब्ली अफ इंडिपेन्डेन्ट इंडिया अपशन ए डर भीमराव आम्बेदकर बी डर राजेंद्र प्रसाद सी सी राजा गोपालचारी डी के एम मुंशी राइट एंसार उल्ब दपशन बी डर राजेंद्र प्रसाद डर राजेंद्र प्रसाद वज द प्रेसिडेंट अब द कन्स्टिट्यूट एसेम्ब्ली अफ इंडिपेन्डेन्ट इंडिया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हो प्रपोज द प्रियम्बल बिफोर द ड्राफ्टिंग कमिटी अब द कन्स्टिट्यूशन अपशन ए जवाहरलाल नेहरू बी बी आर आम्बेडकर सी बी एन राव डी महात्मा गांधी राइट एंसार उल्ब दपशन ए जवाहरलाल नेहरू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द रिजल्यूशन फर गिविंग ए कन्स्टिट्यूशन टू इंडिया वज एडप्टेड बै द कन्स्टिट्यूट एसेम्ब्ली अन अपशन ए टोन्टी सेकेंड जानवर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स बी टोन्टी सेकेंड जानवर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवेन सी टोन्टी फेब्रुआर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवेन डी टोन्टी सिक्स जुलई नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स राइट एंसार उल्ब दपशन बी टोन्टी सेकेंड जानवर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवेन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी सेसन्स अब द इंडियन कन्स्टिट्यूट एसेम्ब्ली वि आर कंडक्टेड फर द फर्मुलेसन अफ इंडियन कन्स्टिट्यूशन अपशन ए सेवेन बी नाइन सी टुएल्व डी फिफ्टीन राइट एंसार उल्ब दपशन सी टुएल्व नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हो अब द फलोईंग प्रेजेंटेड द अबजेक्टिव रिजुलेसन अपशन ए डर बी आर आम्बेडकर बी पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू सी डर राजेंद्र प्रसाद डी डर सी डी देशमुख राइट एंसार उल्ब दपशन बी पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हुईज अब द फलोईंग एक्ट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड सेपारेट इलेक्टोरेट फर मुस्लिम अपशन ए एक्ट अफ एट्टीन नाइनटी टू बी एक्ट अफ नाइनटीन जिरो नाइन सी रिफर्म्स अफ नाइनटीन नाइनटीन डी गवर्नमेंट अफ इंडिया एक्ट नाइनटीन थार्टी फाइव राइट एंसार उल्ब दपशन बी एक्ट अफ नाइनटीन जिरो नाइन द इंडियन काउन्सिल एक्ट अफ नाइनटीन जिरो नाइन और द मर्लिमिन टू रिफर्म्स इंट्रोड्यूस्ड ए सिसटेम अफ कम्यूनियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन फर मुस्लिम्स बै एक्सेप्टिंग द एक्सेप्ट अफ सेपारेट इलेक्टोरेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हो इज द बिगेनिंग प्रेजेंटेड द आइडिया अफ इंडियन कन्स्टिट्यूट एसेम्ब्ली इन प्री इंडिपेन्डेन्स डे अपशन ए एम एन रॉय बी बी आर आम्बेडकर सी एनी बेसन डी जवाहरलाल नेहरू द रईट एंसार उल्ब दपशन ए एम एन रॉय इम्पर्टेन्ट नोट द आइडिया फर ए कन्स्टिट्यूट एसेम्ब्ली वज प्रपोज इन डिसेम्बर नाइनटीन थार्टी फोर बै एम एन रॉय ए पायनियर अब द कम्यूनिस्ट मुभमेंट इन इंडिया एंड एंड एडभकेट फर रेडिकल डेमोक्रेसी इट बिकम एन अफिसियल डिमांड अब द इंडियन नैशनल कॉग्रेस इन नाइनटीन थार्टी फाइव नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हुईज टाइप अफ डेमोक्रेसी डो उ फलो इन इंडिया इट इज भेरि इम्पर्टेन्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड अपशन ए डायरेक्ट बी प्रेसिडेंटियल सी रिप्रेजेंटेटिव डी डिक्टेटरशिप रईट एंसार उल्ब दपशन सी रिप्रेजेंटेटिव रिप्रेजेंटेटिव डेमोक्रेसी इज ए टाइप अफ ए डेमोक्रेसी फाउंडेड ऑन द प्रिन्सिपल अफ इलेक्टेड अफिसियल रिप्रेजेंटेटिंग ए ग्रुप अफ पीपुल एज अपोज टू डायरेक्ट डेमोक्रेसी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द इयर अफ बार्थ एंड डेथ अफ डर बी आर आम्बेडकर अपशन एटीन एटी सिक्स एंड नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन बी एटीन नाइनटी वन एंड नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स सी एटीन सेवेंटी सेवेन एंड नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन डी एटीन एटी नाइन एंड नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन द रईट एंसार उल्ब दपशन बी एटीन नाइनटी वन एंड नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स भीमराव रामजी आम्बेडकर बर्ण एप्रिल फोर्टीन एटीन नाइनटी वान मऊ इंडिया डायड डिसेम्बर सिक्स नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स निव दिल्ली नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बी आर आम्बेडकर वज इलेक्टेड टू द कन्स्टिट्यूट एसेम्ब्ली फ्रम अपशन ए वेस्ट बेंगल बी बम्बे प्रेसिडेसि सी मिडल इंडिया डी पाजाब राइट एंसार उल्ब दपशन ए वेस्ट बेंगल डर बी आर आम्बेडकर वज इलेक्टेड टू द कन्स्टिट्यूट एसेम्ब्ली फ्रम वेस्ट बेंगल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 
The state emblem was adopted by Government of India on option A, 15 August 1948, B, 2 October 1947, C, 26 January 1948, D, 26 January 1950. Right answer will be the option D, 26 January 1950. The national emblem of India was adopted on 26 January 1950 on the basis of the Ashoka Pillar located at Sarnath Uttar Pradesh. Next question. In which year was Janagana Mano adopted as the national anthem of India? Option A 1948, B 1949, C 1950, D 1951. Right answer will be the option C 1950. Important note. Tagore wrote the first anthem in Bengali, Bharato Bhagyo which letter was edited and translated as Janagana Mano and was adopted as the national anthem on January 24, 1950, with an announcement by the then president Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Friends, this question is very important. Next question, Constituent Assembly was Congress and Congress was India. Who said this? Option A. Austin, B. C. R. Atli, C. Winston, Churchill, D. Lord Mountbatten. Right answer will be the option A. Austin. Short note, Granville Austin, a British constitutional expert, remarked the Constituent Assembly was a one-party body in an essentially one-party county. The Assembly was the Congress and Congress was India. Next question, the states and the central government derived power from option A, the Constitution of India, B, the President of India, C, the Prime Minister of India, D, the Parliament of India. Right answer will be the option A, the Constitution of India. The last question, how many women members were there in the Indian Constituent Assembly? It is very important question, friend. You should remember it. Option A, 15, B, 13, C, 12, D, 10. Right answer will be the option A, 15. There were total 15 women's members are in the Indian Constituent Assembly. 